Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and I am fishing today on the California coast with my good friend Adam from Die Hard Fishing. And this is one of the last days to go for lingcod, rockfish, cabazon, those kind of fish from any boat. We're looking for a big lingcod today. So I'm doing a little head head to head with Die Hard Fishing. Whoever catches the biggest fish wins the prize which is pride. First things first, I'm going to try to catch some bait. Fish on. We got a little guy on here. Black rock fish. Not a bad one, it's actually a pretty good black rockfish, but this is not what we're after today. So, I'm gonna toss him back. All right, we'll drop it back down and see if we can get something small, actually, so we can use that as bait to get a big lingcod. What a day on the water, huh? Look at this, super calm. This is December, the California winter. Can't beat it. <laughs> Come on. Come on, fish. Oh, just chill. There we go. That's a fish. Oh, that's a decent fish. That's another black. Oh, no, that's a kelp greenling. That's a big. Big kelp greenling. No, it's, I guess it's not huge, but it's a keeper for sure. What should we do? This is amazing lingcod bait, but it's a little big. Go big or go home. Let's go for it. Oh, let me put it on my stringer really quick. I'll keep him in the water. I'm gonna change out my rig. I'm gonna need a bigger hook than this treble. That's more like it, that treble right there. And I just have everything set up so it's really easy to change rigs on the water. Or I could just carry extra rods too, that works. And just have those rigged up. But this is pretty easy and quick to uh, replace. Just do that and then I just tie this leader on that's already tied. There we go. There you go. All rigged up, ready to go. It's over. Right, I'm just going to drop them down and see if anything big takes it. Uh oh, Adam's on a big one. I can see him using the gaff. Doesn't look too big, but it's on the gaff. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, might have got one. What is that? That's super heavy. Feels snagged. Okay, we're good. I think we're free now. Okay, nothing on there yet, but my heart is pounding. I'm gonna slowly drift around because the current is just dead right now. Just staying still. So we'll just slowly go around these rocks and the rocks underwater and uh, see if we can get bit. Oh, there might be something on it. Oh, there we go. Oh no. The fish is running away from something though. Oh, there's something on there, I think. Might have something on. See, I don't know if it's hooked, so I gotta just... Bring him up slowly. Oh gosh. Oh, 
gosh. I'm so nervous. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a massive wind card. And it's not hooked. It's just holding on. Just gotta bring it on slow. Super slow. He's not hooked. Look at the look at him with the freaking greenling in his mouth. Oh how are we gonna do this? Got him. We got him. No! No! Oh my god! Oh my! Oh. That was a sketchy gaff shot, and I knew it, and and it came up, and it just death rolled, and it just came off the gaff, and it obviously wasn't hooked. It was just holding on to that greenling, and it rolled off my kayak. Oh, <laughs> that thing was freaking massive. That was big, dude. My God. That was a good catch and release. Catch and release, baby. That's what we're doing out here today. It's okay, I still got my bait. Look what he bit on. On green link? Nice. Yeah, nice, nice big one. All right, going back down. I'm so sorry, green link. You're just having a terrible day. Uh, like 30, I don't know. At least 30. Oh, oh my God. Oh no, that's just a rockfish. Rockfish and came came up and bit my weight. <laughs> that was terrible. That would have been the winner. That could have been. That could have been, been the winner. Did you see how that link cod was just grabbing onto that kelp greenling and it just wouldn't let go until he came out of the water? Like they are so aggressive. I haven't caught a big lingcod since Alaska. That last one, that was the last one. And it was about 32, 30, 32 inches. And yeah, so I need to get another one. I wanna get my PB, personal best. I don't even know what my PB is. It's probably something like 32, 33, right around there. Nothing too big. All right, we are right at the spot where we lost that one. Maybe we can get him back. GoPro, start recording. I thought I was just snagged here, but it's actually coming up and it feels kind of heavy. Might have something on. Didn't feel anything bite. It's just heavy. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, there's a fish on. There it is. Oh yeah, that's a nice sling cod. Nice sling cod. Yeah. That's the one. Okay, don't stop this time. That's actually devastating. I can't believe that. I'm pretty sure that they'll survive because I was getting them like in the mouth, like on the lips. Cause I don't wanna like, I don't like gaffing the, the body of the fish. So I always gaff like towards the mouth and that's why I gaffed that one. And, um, but the problem with that is they're still very lively. And, uh, I can't believe I did that again. Maybe I should have took my time a little more. Or next time, maybe I'll just gaff it in the heart. 
then it can't it'll it'll just kind of die or I can net it too I do have a net maybe we'll just net the next one because that two huge huge link cod that one was bigger than the first that was a massive fish and I can't believe I just lost two in a row same exact way me. Adam said it's not a catch and release tournament <laughs> I cannot believe that Holy sh**, there's a shark. There's a great white shark. Holy sh**, there's a shark. There's a great white shark. Oh my god. Adam, there's a great white right here. Yeah, a big one. And it's like 12 feet. That's what splashed behind me earlier. First time seeing a great white while on the kayak. It's been following me. I heard something earlier just kind of splash behind me, something big. And I figured it might be a sea lion. And I just saw it. Saw a great white shark. That thing looked huge. I'm off that way. It's over here? Oh sh! Oh sh! Oh my god, that thing's huge. It's right there, dude. Dude, it's big. That thing is big. Oh, now it's sketchy. Holy crap. I was just thinking about that too. Oh, Nick was saying somebody <laughs> yeah. got attacked. This is kind of a sharky area. Yeah. Oh, that thing is big. You see him still? No, he, he swam off that way. Oh, he's right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see him. Circling us. <laughs> he is circling us right now. Holy <laughs> Okay, Don't catch a fish right now. He's mad because you've been poking all those fish. I know. Yep. It's Damn, big, that's dude. That's a good sized shark. Get a drone? No, huh? No, I didn't bring one. Yeah, it's as big as the that shark is as big as the kayak. They say it's good to huddle up. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just, I guess you look bigger that way. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have fish in the in the water, right? Um, no, no, not really. I mean, I got blood all over my kayak. So. <laughs> oh, great. Uh oh, I think I might have a fish. Uh oh, no, I'm just snagged. All right, we're good. I don't know where he's swimming again. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Right there. Oh. <laughs> This is the first time I've ever seen one from yeah. a kayak. Me too. Me too. Keep your cameras rolling. <laughs> I, I got attacked by a shark and caught my PB. <laughs> <laughs> Just commanding respect in the water. Yeah. <laughs> my gosh. Let's see if I can see it on here. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> he doesn't flip attack us, dude. Attack from the bottom. Yeah. Attack from the bottom and freaking put, put us in the water. Yeah. That would be scary. <laughs> that would be hard. Dude, I'll, I'll be getting in the kayak so fast. Oh my god. 
How can you not Lightning panic speed. at that moment? Like, if you get freaking pushed in the water, <laughs> it just flips the kayak. I think he might be done. He's not here anymore. I wouldn't keep my fish in the water for too long. Yeah. No fish in the water today. Oh, smoke. That was sketchy. That was a big shark. It had to be at least 12 feet, right? At least. Oh, dude, I think it was. I think it was long. It's longer than your kayak. Yeah. Well, we can say 15. Yeah. It, yeah, it was definitely longer than that. Damn. Yeah, 15 feet, right about there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh shoot. There we go. There we go. That's a good fish. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna net him this time. Learn my lesson. Oh shit. Just let go. Oh, I just let go. Right at the surface. Gosh dang it. That felt like the biggest one yet. Damn it. What is going on? There we go. I think he's back. I think he's back. I think he's back on. Oh, let go again. What is up with this fish? Come on, hold on to it. There we go. There we go. Here's another one. Might be the same one. I see him. I see him. He's a good size. He's a good size. But he is just holding on to the tail. Oh my goodness. How can I do this with a net? I have to gaff him. I'm going to try to lay him out flat. Oh no, he's gonna let go. He's gonna let go. He's. Let's see, how are we gonna get this guy? Got him. Oh, that was much smoother. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Yeah. My God! Got him! Finally! Oh my God! Oh! <laughs> Happy now! <laughs> Gotta get him on the stringer first. Woo! <laughs> Wait till I show you guys this freaking monster. This is my PB. There it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god, this is a monster. Oh shoot. Holy crap. Ooh. Monster, monster, monster fish. Oh, 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 holy shit! Oh, we got him! We got him! Oh my god! That right there is exactly what I, what I came here for. A massive lingcod. Can you believe it? This is my uh, personal best, for sure. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna knock him out with my water bottle. Thank you so much, buddy. Oh, oh, that water bottle bottle is done. It's a broken bottle. Whoa. Fish just kept getting bigger today, huh? First one I missed was probably about 32 inches, maybe 31. Second one was probably like 33. And this one 
my goodness. It's maybe 36th. I'm gonna brain him too, make sure he's done and doesn't come back to life. Okay, so this right here is a 36 inch board. Let's see if it fits. Oh yeah, it fits. Oh yeah. He's right there. 35 inches. 35 inch lean cod. <laughs> oh baby. This just broke my, it just literally broke my, uh, my board. All right. Well, it was a good use of it. <laughs> Check out the head on this beast. Just a massive, massive head on it. This is insane. Look at that big old belly. Fatty. Ouch. Now Adam's on a mission to catch a bigger one. Um, I want to bleed it out, but I'm kind of hesitant to do that. You know, because of that shark. Great white shark, that thing was massive too. What a freaking day it has been. Oh, jeez. What should I do, should I bleed him or not? I probably shouldn't. I don't want that shark coming back. We'll just keep it, keep him on the kayak. Oh, it's so big. Oh, Jesus. GoPro, sorry, Corey. What the heck was that? I was just chilling here. I had the rod in the rod holder and it just started bending and kind of took a little bit of line and then stopped. I'm not snagged. Could have been another fish. Oh, there it is. No, that was, a, that was a rock. Thought I just had a snag here. Well, that might be a fish. That's a fish. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, if this, this is a fish, it might be bigger than even the last one. Another good link on. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, he came off. Oh, he came off. Damn, that was another good main card. What is going on today? <sighs> really thought that was a snag. That's a fish. That's, that's a fish. It's heavy heavy one huh. another one another another one <laughs> look at look at how he's holding on to that He's still not letting go of the freaking greenling. He does not care. It's another giant. It's another massive fish. Guys, comparable to the previous one. Maybe just a little smaller than the other one. Oh my god. It's huge. But I'm gonna let this guy go and just keep fishing because we still have time just a massive fish honestly this is so crazy that he's still holding on still holding on to that freaking fish he really wants it this is crazy Oh, he just, okay. 
finally let go. There you go, guys. That is another nice lingcod. Smaller than the other one. This, this one is maybe 30, 31, 32, something like that. But, ooh, I'm going to let this guy go. Because, honestly, I actually don't need that much meat. So, lucky day. Holy sh! Great white shark. Humongous one just surfaced out of the water. Like it breached, hardcore breach. A full on. That was scary. Right in front of me. Probably about 20 yards from me. And it, the entire thing was just, and his face was facing me. That was scary. That was the skill. Oh. oh my god. I'm shivering now. That was so scary. Neither of the GoPros were recording, but that one would have got it if it was recording, but it was not. Oh, that was so crazy. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Full on bridge. Psycho, dude. Hey Adam, that uh, great white's back again, and he full on breezed out of the water. That shit was crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna just head in. That was like it was way too close. He was so close to me. I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling now, just in case that happens again. Scary. Scary, scary. That wasn't even a small shark. That was. Probably either the same one or one about the same size. It was big, like fat, all the way around. That was scary. Oh, I'm heading in. That was so scary. Why did it do that? Why did it even breach out of the water so crazy? Back. <clears throat> Wow, well that was a viral opportunity that I missed. Oh my gosh, that shark was insane how far it flew out of the water. Like six feet out of the water, entire body out and everything. And the scariest part was it was jumping towards me. And it was like 20, 25 yards away, but still like once it went down, I saw his mouth and everything. Like his mouth was closed, but you can still see how massive it was. And I don't know, I don't think it was chasing anything. And I think it was just flexing on me, to be honest. And because once he went back in the water, that means he was coming straight towards me. So at that moment, I was like, oh, shoot, this is scary. Okay, but anyways, uh, that's all done and over with. What an exciting day. Uh, now we have this beautiful lingcod that we're going to clean and prep and make something delicious. So let's get to it. Never really got the full scope of how big this thing is. So check this out. Oh, this right here is a massive lingcod. Certainly my personal best. Oh, it's about 20 pounds heavy. Oh man, this thing is a beast. And look, look at that belly. Jesus, this thing is fatty. Well, this is an impressive fish right here. First thing I'm going to do, I just want to gut it. I haven't gutted it yet. And uh, we're going to see what's in this big belly. Might be eggs. Oh, yes. Wow. Oof, it's going to bleed a lot since we didn't bleed it. Wow, that is a big sack of eggs. Oh my goodness. We are not going to waste this. No way, this is so much row. Wow, big old thing of link cod row. This is the liver, oh, huge liver. I've done a link cod liver video before. 
Wow, that thing's huge. I think I might make some pate with this actually. By the way, the official measurement on this guy was 35 and a half. I'm gonna take his head off. I'm gonna leave the collar on with the head as well. Cause that'll kind of be like one dish. Go all the way down to the spine. And if you can hit right between the vertebrae of the spine, it doesn't take too much effort to get through. Just like that. And then flip it, on. Flip it around. Yeah. And also, I already scaled this too. There you go. Big old head. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that thing is huge. Okay, from here, it's pretty easy. Just a normal fillet job. All right, we'll start on this side. Right here by the fin. Gonna slice. Try to move that fin out of the way, that anal fin. Slice. You can kind of lift up the meat there and make sure you get the entire thing. Just make sure you can hear those bones. See that there? Nice and clean. Then we move to the other side. Flip it. And the reason why we take the head off first, if you have the head on, especially on a fish like this, like a lingcod, it's not even. The head is way too big. It just lifts up the fillet and then you just have a you know, real bent piece of um, fish to work with. So it makes it really difficult. So. Here. And sharp knife makes a huge difference here. Just like that. I'm just cutting the skin right there. And now, I'm going all the way into the spine, keeping that pressure downwards, making sure I can hear those bones. Now check it out. You can actually see that we created a hole right through there. I'm gonna make sure I just got all of the meat on top of the spine there put that knife all the way through I'm gonna hold the tail bring it closer towards me a little bit hold the tail and we're just gonna slide the knife down keeping the heel of the knife down towards the board and now Lift the entire fillet and just cut that, cut it off. There you have it. Nice, clean piece of link on fillet. And I'm gonna put this off to the side for now. We're not done with that quite yet. It's big. All right, flip it over. And just basically do the same exact thing here. Boom. I'll do it a little bit quicker this time. And you can actually do it like this too. Instead of putting your knife all the way through, you can just, on this side, you can just knock out the rib cage. Just like this. Go. Oh. Off. There you go. There's another piece there. Now you can check out the spine and not much meat left on there. Carcass, super clean. And we can use this for soup stock, all kinds of stuff here. Just gonna break it down just so it's nice and neat. All right. And these are all the parts that nobody wants to eat, but in reality, these have some of the best flavor, some of the best texture on a fish. The roe, the liver, and the stomach. 
and obviously the head and collar as well. That has a ton of meat in it. Of course, on a lingcod, the cheeks are ginormous. And there's a lot of good meat there. And on the stomach, I don't know if you've ever seen anybody eat that, but that is really good. Really amazing texture, kind of chewy like squid. And the liver, a lot of flavor and really good for you. And the roe, of course. I don't know who, who doesn't like eggs, but fish roe is amazing. And this one looks like a tobiko. Maybe we'll try to make something like that. Or we'll uh, make some, I don't know, we'll see. And can you tell the difference between this and if you bled a fish? If you notice, there is so much blood left on here. You can just see in the veins here, just in the stomach, all that blood and the, the belly side actually has like this pink, pinkish kind of color to it. And that's all blood in the meat. And why is that bad, if you wonder? The blood is what makes it, makes the fish go bad much faster. So if you want to keep it for a while, if you want to freeze it and keep it for later, it's not going to freeze as well. It's not going to um, be as good in the long run. So if, you, if you're eating it today, you know, tomorrow, this week, uh, should be completely no, uh, no problem. If you wait a little bit, it's not going to be as good. Uh, so that's why I always bleed my fish and I highly recommend that you bleed your fish every single time as well for that reason. Okay guys, I think it's going to be it for this one. What a crazy day has been. Uh, last week I released my short film. I think it's one of the most creative and greatest things I've ever posted on YouTube. So just check it out right here if you have some time. It's a long one, 54 minutes about. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching once again. I will follow up with the cooking video on the next one. Peace.